So welcome. This is so exciting. It's it, I can't believe the group that's out here. It's just it's exciting and I'm nervous, but I'll get over it. So the first thing I want to talk about, if you have not done Windows updates and you are just turning on your you're taking it out of airplane mode or turning on your Internet for the first time, Windows is going to hit your tablet and you won't be able to do our download. So please give your tablet some time to do a Windows updates. It's very important that we keep our tablets up to date, especially Windows 11. It's their, Windows 11 is so naughty. It just it wants you to do it. Um, and with this update, if you are coming from version five, the next time you hook your system, your tablet up to your system, it's going to ask to do a firmware update you will want to complete that. Um, I'll show you a video where that is also. Um, if you're out, and also if you're outside the country, um, please have your language setting set to English US and it needs to be the top option. If it is not, then you will get some runtimes errors as you do the install. Okay, so to get into simulation mode, you'll want your USB cable unplugged, and then we're gonna open the program. And it's gonna tell us we can't connect. I'm just gonna hit okay, because I wanna go into simulation mode. It reminds us to unplug that USB cable. And then once it's open, I do want to talk about something that I'm not sure everybody knows about it. And right here, it says new notifications. Every time we do an update, we push out a notification to tell you about the update. So if you want to know when an update is coming, make sure you turn your tablet on the internet and then open your program. If you don't, if you aren't, on the internet, you open your program and go do this update, it's going to tell you there's nothing there. So you'll need to close your program, get the internet on, and then open it back up. With the new notifications that come out, this was the first one for QCT6, and then this one is about talking about this update. I also have the release notes in here and what is new. And also in here, I have a link that you can click on to get to the document also to um, in, do the, in, the update install. Um, now, notice since I click on it, I no longer have new notifications right here. So it is gone until I, another one is pushed. But if you want to go back and see it, you can go to help and notifications down here on the right hand side. Also, why I'm here, I'm going to go to videos. And we have a video. I'm not going to start it because I don't want to, you don't want to listen to the music. Um, but this is a video. It says it's for QCT4, but it's the same for every software version. But if so, if you have to do a firmware update and you struggle, go watch this video. This is awesome. Okay, so now we're going to uh, run the update. I did go to help again, and then software management. And then under software management, I'm going to do check for updates. And then I'm going to update now from online files. It will give the update version, which is 60. You click that, it's gonna ask if you're ready for the download. I'm gonna say yes. And now it's gonna run the download. I could sing to you, but you probably don't want me to. So Marie, there's some questions here about if this is different, if you have an older version of five or six or basic plus or pro. Um, no, it's all talk the same. To that? Yep, it's all the same. Um, the only big difference is if you're coming from version three. And that's just, it has just a little bit difference. But if you follow the, the defaults, then you'll be fine. So the, I don't know, um, the user control came up on my end. I'm not sure if you see this one, but you'll say yes to the user control. 
and then the wizard comes up and we're just going to go through all of the the defaults on here i'm going to say next i'm going to accept the license agreement and then next this is where it will install the folder i'm going to say yes it's going to tell us the folder already exists that's because this is an update and we're updating on top of another version i will hit yes and then next you want to check and make sure your desktop icon is checked and next and now i'm going to hit install okay are there are some questions, Marie. We had just to be clear, is this an update from five to six or version of six with updates? So this that we're showing you today is new updates for the current six. So if you have six um, at all, also, the update came out yesterday. So. It's also, Jacqueline, it's also mm -hmm. for five for mm -hmm. people who have five or people who have four also. So this update mm -hmm. will work for four and five, three, actually three, four and five, but it depends on, I'm going to I'm going to eliminate 3 for now because it depends on the sewing machine. If you have a Cunic machine and you had version 3, you can update to version 6. And you don't have to do any updates in between. You don't have to do a 5 update to get to 6. You can go right from your current version to this update. And I know we're moving fast. We have a lot of information to convey. So that's why we're creating a, a copy. We're recording this, and then you can go back and watch it again and again. Um, also, when we do the breakout sessions, you can ask Marie more detailed questions. Um, and then there, we also have our technical support team that can help walk you through this if you feel like you need some help. So, okay, go ahead, Marie. All right, I'm gonna hit finish. Now, this is a really important part right here. Um, if you tap too many times, you're going to run two instances of the install and it's going to mess up with your software. So make sure, because some tablets have different touch sensitivities, make sure you, you double tap and stop and or double click if you're if you have a mouse, just double click and let it do its thing. If you continue to touch it, it will run two things. Now, here's another reminder to make sure the USB cables unplugged. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and now it's going to do the file directory. If by any chance you have a problem right here where it's doing the file structure and it gives you an error, there could be a couple things going on. It could be your virus protection program is not allowing to write this the, the file directory or you don't have permissions. You need to be admin right of your tablet or device for that to go. Now we have the load drivers. This is for your USB drivers. I'm going to say load drivers. The Explorer window will come up. I'm going to double tap on the CDM file. Say yes to the user control. And then I'm going to execute, and I'm just going to go with all the defaults, and next, accept the agreement, and next, finish. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the File Explorer window, and we're going to OK after loading the drivers, and then the program's going to want to restart. And then it's going to ask about simulation mode. I'm, well, it's going to ask that you're not connected. I'm going to hit OK, because we do want to go into back into simulation mode. And now we're in, and we're good to go. So that is the, the update.